Hey guys, my name is Pascal and in this video I'm going to teach you another Ben TK FX breakdown from his Bali vlog and this is the video that we are going to recreate. And this is what I have made. So fire up a software and let's get started. Now to make this effect, this is very simple guys. All you need to do is a very simple masking transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is going to be a very simple transition guys. To maintain a consistency with this particular video here, I'm going to use similar clips to what Ben TK has used in this particular transition. I'm also going to use the clip of a C wave and also a paddy field to maintain a similar consistency with his transition. So fire up the software now, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing that you have to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro and put both of these clips onto your timeline here. Now one thing you have to make sure very particularly is the fact that the C-Wave video needs to be on top of the Paddy Field video. What I'm basically trying to say is that the video you're going to transition to is going to be on top and the video you're going to transition from is going to be at the bottom. Click on the CVA video or your top video and go to effects control. Once you're in effects control, click on opacity. Near opacity, you'll see this pen tool icon. You have to click on the pen tool icon to so enable the opportunity to draw a particular mask and that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, once you select that particular pen tool, click on your video and draw a mask around your particular subject. In this particular context, I'm going to draw a mask around this C wave to give that vibe that the C wave is literally washing into the next video. So I'm just going to mask around this particular C wave and complete my mask. To complete your mask, all you have to do is just click on the first point that you created in your mask and your mask is going to be complete. Now the next thing that you have to do is come down here and click on inverted. The reason you have to click on inverted is so that you can get a better idea about how the waves are going to come in so that you can match your mask accordingly. So make sure you invert your clip and follow these exact steps that I'm going to show you in this particular video now. So the next thing that you have to do is click on mask path, click on this stop watch icon near mask path to enable you to add keyframes so that the changes you make to your particular mask is recorded in your particular video. Now the next thing that you have to do is click on this particular icon to move a few frames into the future of this particular video click on your video and adjust the mask according to the C wave so you have to keep doing that move a few frames into the future keep adjusting the mask to match the shape of the wave that is taking place and once you completely mask out your lower video and you have something like this on your screen that is the minute that you need to stop and make more finer adjustments to it and now what you need to do is come down here and uncheck this inverted icon here to make sure that the C waves is appearing on the screen again and your transition looks complete. Come to this mask feather here and experiment with this value and put any value that you think is applicable for your particular effect. Now once you're at this step all you have to do take your playhead to the point where you put your first keyframe in your mask path come to that particular point and delete your top video before that particular point now the effect is done guys you can add some sound effects to it add some cinematic title bars to give it that cinematic vibe also do some color grading and you are basically done with this particular effect and this is going to look something like this So this is it for this video guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. It gives me a lot of encouragement to make more videos and bring it to you guys. So stay safe guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.